everyone, it's Cassie here from Minds and Bloom, and our newest blog post today is all about what to do when you don't have enough technology really to share with your whole class. And so we have a lot of ideas about different technologies that are easy to come by and then how you can use them and manage them. So you can check out this and all the things that I show you in this video, you can download straight off of this blog post. So um, what I wanted to show you was a way that you, you can use like a digital system for having your kids check out the different technologies that you have. So here I just created this quick Google Forms and it's just set up to have the student's name and then whether they're checking in the item or checking out the item and then what that item is. So you can get this from me or you can just make one from scratch. Even if you get one from me, you'll get your own copy. You can change any of the technologies you have, delete or add or whatever, make it your own. And then at the very end, I just have a place for the student to read some little guidelines or whatever you want there and then just agree to it. So basically they're agreeing to do something if they check out your technology. So once you have your system created, then what you're going to do is create a QR code. And the reason why we're going to do that is because we are going to print out the different technology and the QR code and then you can just use some packing tape or something to put this right on your technology and that way when students are ready to get it they can just come they'll have the QR code right there they can scan it and I even put a shortened link on there too so they can type it in and then they can check it out so I'll just show you really quickly how to do that once you have your Google form all the way made then you're gonna get a copy of the preview URL. So make sure you click the little eye icon and get what the students are gonna see, which is this. And then once you copy this URL, you can go into qrcode-monkey.com. I use this site all the time, I really like it. So then you're just gonna paste that URL there and you can customize it a little bit if you want to. So I'm just gonna go down to customize design and you can choose what you want it to look like on the inside, on the outside, in the middle or whatever. But once you've chosen what you want, then you're gonna click create QR code. And it's gonna create that QR code right there. So this QR code will go to the checkout form. I like to just use a screen snipping tool instead of downloading it because it takes a little bit of time to download it. Um, so you can do whatever you want. But once you have that there, then you can go into this other Google Slides file. You can also get your own copy of this so you don't have to start from scratch. And what you would do is just name the different technologies that you want to be included in part of your checkout list. And then you would just paste your QR code there and resize it to where it fits. And once you get that done, then all you have to do is copy and paste it over and over because it's gonna be the same form no matter what piece of technology students are checking out. So I'm just gonna copy this and then I'll um, paste it. So Control C and then Control V and get that on there and the same thing. And then once I get those three done, I can duplicate those and then I can get all six of them for my last one. So it's a pretty quick process. If you want to add a short URL, like a bit.ly, you can do that down here too so that students don't have to have a camera to scan the QR code. So I just use bit, bitly.com and it's so easy. You just would paste that link there and then click shorten and it will give you the shortened link too so that it's easy for students to type in. So you can get both of these things to get started. This is just a fun way to check things in and out. And when you're ready to kind of look at who has what, what you can do is come into your uh, checkout form and then just go to the responses tab. Then you can see kind of things here, but the easiest way would just be to click this Google Sheets and then it will open up in a Google Sheets and you can see who's checked things in, who's checked things out and so forth. So this is just one quick, easy way to use technology in your classroom to facilitate managing, managing that technology. So I hope this is something that you can use in your class. And if you do, I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.